Good morning students. Today I'll explain you about the size of image and size of object. Size of image depends upon the size of object and its position where the object is kept from the lens. Image may be smaller when object is kept at infinity or beyond C. Image is equal to the size of <coughs> object when it is kept at center of curvature. And image is bigger magnified when object is lies between optical center and center of curvature. That is focus also in between that. So here by seeing all the position of object and image, let me explain you magnification. So, so see here students. <coughs> <coughs> magnification produced by lenses. Magnification is denoted by M. It is defined the ratio of size of the ob image to the size of object. So you see here M is equal to H dash. H dash is size of image to the size of object. Magnification has no unit because it is the ratio of same unit. Depending upon the position of ob object and image, magnification is V by U. Position distance of image by distance of object. So what conclusion we are getting from this? If magnification is negative, H dash by H, object size is always positive means we have to see only the image size. So image is inverted. M is positive Again, H dash is erect and H dash is erect that means we will get a virtual image. Virtual erect image, magnification is positive. Real inverted image, magnification is negative. Next to come power of lens. Power, we have seen in the image formation that the convex lens converges a ray passing through it and concave lens diverges ray passes through it. So either it is converges or it is diverges. So this is the conversion convergence and this is the divergence. So here you see the power of lens is measure of the degree of convergence or divergence of light rays falling on lenses. Mathematically power is measured as the reciprocal of the lens of the focal length of lens in meter. So remember students focal length should always be in meter when we are discussing power. So here we are writing power is equal to 1 by F and focal length should be in meter. SI unit of power is diopter. So how you will define one diopter? One diopter when focal length should be in one meter. So one diopter is the power of lens whose focal length is one meter. What happened if they in a devices 
there is more than two lenses. So here we are finding out the power of combination of lenses. If a number of lenses are placed in contact, the power of combination of lens is equal to the algebraic sum of all the power of lenses. That is individual power of lenses. So P is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. Here you see. One example I have considered. Let two convex lenses of power 10 diopter and 5 diopter are placed in contact with 8 diopter of concave lens. So convex lens, convex lens power is positive because it is producing what is your <coughs> convex lens. Just you see the figure. It is convergent. Anywhere focus is measured this side. So power is positive. So we can write with proper sign of the power. Plus 10 diopter. Plus. Plus 5 diopter. Plus. Concave lens. Focal length anywhere. We are measuring the left side. Yesterday I have shown you in sign convention. Anywhere we are measuring the left side focal length that is focus. So it is negative. So we can write minus 8 diopter for concave lens. So here we are getting 15 diopter minus 8 diopter that is 7 diopter. So combination of lenses you have got 7 diopter that is positive 7 diopter. Okay.